What's up travellers, I'm Natural Born and welcome to Finding Fauna in No Man's Sky and in today's video on a mechanical planet in the Euclid galaxy we have stumbled upon two different variations of the same species and that is the robot antelope. I'll put the portal glyphs on screen now in case you want to come and claim one of these creatures or build a base here then you're more than welcome to. Robotic fauna has a 10% chance of spawning in groups of two on planets and uncharted systems. The system is uncharted and surrounds a blue star. The first variation has a disc shaped head and weighs 112.1 kilograms and standing at a height of 1.5 meters. The second variation has a torso shaped head also known as a curved head and weighs approximately 89.4 kilograms with a height of 1.3 meters. The largest robotic fauna found is three different species, all with a height of 2.0 meters. So the size of these two that we have here is quite standard. You can tame both variants of these robot antelope by feeding them ion batteries. And after 24 hours, both creatures will produce eggs that can be hatched. You are able to ride around on both species, although they are not the fastest, it's still pretty cool to run around on one of these things. And when harvesting these creatures, you will receive chewy wires. And if you decide you want to hunt them, they are one of the only creatures that will give you nanites when you kill them. Usually 8 nanites per creature, it's by far one of the worst ways to farm nanites in the game, but not a bad location to complete your hunt missions. These creatures can spawn with three different variations for their heads, which is the disc shaped head, a triangle shaped head, or the curved body shaped head. They can also have four different variations for their shoulder attachments, being shields, solar cells, spark plugs, or no shoulder attachment. And the last different thing these creatures can spawn with is their back attachments. With five different attachments, they can spawn with one shield, three shields, a wheel, batteries, or a U-shaped magnet. And last, they can spawn with no back attachment at all. I wonder who created these robotic fauna. Though maybe their purpose was to serve the sentinels. Maybe they are the long lost pets of some long forgotten civilization. Or maybe something deeper. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more Finding Fauna content in the future, then be sure to like this video and subscribe. And leave a comment below and let me know what type of creatures you would like to see in this series. Or better yet, tell me about the rare creatures you have encountered yourself. With 18 quintillion planets to explore, who knows what's hiding out there in the deepest corners of the galaxies. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.